This is a Love Life Horoscope Tarot reading for Aquarius from May 20th to June 3rd, 2021. Let's get to it. What do we got coming up for you in the next two weeks? Mm, seven of Swords, sneaky behavior. The Devil. And the Seven of Wands. I feel that there's someone in your energy that, like, I feel that there's a third party involved here. Like, like with, the, with the Seven of Swords, I feel that your love interest, the person that you're thinking about here, is trying to run away from some sort of addictive personality, like, like someone, someone like a narcissist that, that, that's been coming between you here. Like, I'm getting the feeling here that, that this love interest couldn't be with you because this person that they were addicted to, that this negative energy, this narcissistic kind of energy was, was blocking the path. Almost blocking that, the way that they saw you. This, this narcissist had a huge control over the way this, that your love interest thought. And in these next two weeks that they're they're sneaking away from this from this narcissist. Let's clarify. Let's clarify your energy here. For them, ambition. For you, altruism. So regardless of how good your actions were, this person's view of you was, was being taken over by this narcissist. Like they were getting in the way. They couldn't, they couldn't see you clearly. But it's, it's like there's, there's an ambition here. I've never, I don't remember ever pulling the ambition card before. So I'm getting the sense here that this love interest has an ambition towards you, even though that they're still, they're still blind to it. Let's get to the random love generated questions and see if they shed some light. What's making the love interest worry about approaching you? These, I swear to God, are all random generated by a computer. But the way they come out is just beautiful. What's making the love interest worry about approaching you? Tenacity. I wasn't, that's not the card that I wanted to pull, but we'll take it. I'm getting a sense here that this person has the willpower to to come towards you. They're they're not they're not afraid to come towards you. They're working towards it. They have something to share with you. Something you had to share with them as well. A lot of pentacles energy. Swords. So 
it's like this, there's been this struggle within this person. But they have the tenacity to keep going through it. Whoever this, this narcissist was, it's, it's like they're, the, their power is, is like they don't have the power over this person's thoughts anymore. This person isn't worried to come towards you. Hmm. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles, the sharing for them. Waste for you, perfection. So you are perfect, but there's been a lot of wasted time here. This person is seeing that they've wasted time, that they could have had with, with someone that was perfect for them. You know, the thing about narcissists, like, there's this understanding, like, it's like a metaphor. So you eat a piece of cake. And you know, a half an hour later, you're going to be under your table holding, holding your stomach. Like, it, it's, it's not worth it. And you eat a piece of broccoli and you feel great afterwards. But given the chance between a piece of broccoli and a slice of cake, people always go for the cake. And that's the same thing with narcissists. It's, it's like they have this ability to to be so charming that people just fall right into that but over time their their desire for their own self gratification like this narcissist narcissists always have that thing where they feel self entitled to everything and that comes out in time that's why narcissists always lose their power. They're great at the start. Everybody loves a nar narcissist when they meet them. But over time, it wears thin because these traits of these, the self-entitlement start to appear. The self-righteous kind of behavior starts to get really, really annoying. I feel that's what's, what's been happening here is this narcissist has used up their capacity to, to influence your love interest. What's the most likely outcome for this connection in the next two weeks between you and your love interest? The world. Ten of Cups. Page of Pentacles. They're ascending, and I feel that you both feel this connection. There's a gift you want to give them, like a whole new start. It's a, like a physical kind of strategy that you have. Like you know how to get this person to come towards you. And they are ascending to the point that they're capable of having this connection now. I'm getting the feeling like this person has dreamt of you before. Because they, they knew this was a connection. But somehow that narcissist was able to get them not to, to see it clearly, not to see you clearly. And they're ascending to, to this understanding that, that this is a, it's like this truth is being given to them. Like, 
And it's coming from you, like this, this knowing. This is wonderful energy. I, I never got the dream thing from the world card before, but that's, that's what I'm getting. It's like they had a dream about you, about being with you. Let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles. For them, loyalty. For you, obligations. In a way, this person has always been loyal to you. And that's why you've been obligated to to want this person so much. Like there is that connection here. They're reaching an understanding. It's like a realization that, that what they were dreaming about was real. That it had sustenance to it. It's like a very good dream. <laughs> In the extended, we'll look into what secret came between you and this love interest in the past. Probably that, that third party, that narcissist. What's a what message does the love interest have for you? What do you need to watch out for at this time? And we'll ask, how should you handle this love interest when they reappear? I should actually get another camera to show how to auto, how, like, because I click a button and they all auto generate, right? All these questions. So then everyone will know that it's not, I'm not picking these questions. Okay. The link for the extent is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of your choices. Much love.